Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Dirk Mains from Rogers Corporation. And in front of us, we have capacitors and a DC bus bar that are kind of intimately connected. At least that's how I'd say, Dirk. Um, tell us exactly how these connectors are connected here. They're, it's pretty right. interesting. Right. Well, the, the usual way of connecting a capacitor to a bus bar would be nuts and bolts or maybe soldering them to, to a bus bar. But really, if you want to get to the best low inductance solution at the taps of the IGBT, that is, you need to really integrate them together. So we signed up with a partnership with SBE, who's making these unique capacitor rings to connect them together and to improve on this product then also from both ends. But as you can see, this is a welding technology that really goes directly to the capacitor winding, so taking out all of the inductance that is in there, only leaving really the inductance towards the taps of the IGBT. Hmm. Now, Dirk, how small of a capacitor will this work on? Well, SBE has two sizes. They have uh, this size of core and one that, which is about half the size. But why don't I give you more specifics on that one? Because everything we do is custom made. We can really tailor this to the application and the form factor the customer wants. But these capacitors do come in a, in a round puck form format, a little bit like an a, a ice hockey puck, I would call them. But it's really the, the low height that is creating low internal losses within these capacitors. So you get extremely high power density for the volume, about double the size than what you would get with normal can size capacitors. Mm. And, and by uh, the way, these are film capacitors. Of film course. capacitors, good. And uh, I assume that these are for like really high power inverters, like what kinds of applications? Applications would go into solar inverter applications or anything that is really with wheels, I would call it. So hybrid, uh, full electric cars, but it also could go into like, you know, applications like garbage trucks or, you know, start stop vehicles, delivery right. things, uh, where you need to, to recuperate the, uh, the energy, but you know, where weight and size is important. That's really where it's aimed at. We're not really uh, looking at mega, multi-megawatt inverter converter systems. Uh, that's not the application for this. Hmm. So was there any technological breakthrough you had to do to be able to spot weld like this as opposed to doing yes, it the other there way? There are a couple of things, and it is IP protected also what's happening here. So it's a unique solution. That's why the collaboration between us and SBE is a good one. We are really thrilled about the collaboration and um, also for SBE to add a capacity for them because we have a, a bigger footprint than what they have so far. So uh, we, we have a different reach into the market and together we hope also to really professionalize this and take it to much higher volume in production. Dirk, I noticed that uh, these are spot welded in multiple sites on this side, and also there's a right. kind of an interesting cap on the other side. Is that an advantage? Right, good question. You know, the typical capacitor has only one connection port for the plus and one for the minus. Here we have multiple connection points for the plus and for the minus. It means you do avoid the hot spots because if you're going to run 400 amps, for example, through a terminal, here you have multiple terminals, so we are avoiding the hot spots to begin with because the heat you don't generate, you don't have to take out. The other side, of course, is connected in a similar way. And even in the advantages of this technology, you could put those cap capacitors, these ring capacitors, on both sides of the bus bar, so really creating a very dense, very compact inverter solution. It's something you can't do with any other uh, capacitor because just the mounting stuff is just avoiding you to do that. Great. Well, that's interesting, Dirk, and thank you for taking us through it. Okay, thank you very much. Right.